tomorrow. Peter Hall, this is Peter Hall out on the weather deck tonight. And Peter, you know, for a while there today, it, it really did look like a, a nice winter event, I guess. Well, right, but remember we talked about how it would go over to mix and rain? We're seeing that happening right now. I've got the umbrella out because we've got sleet, also known as ice pellets, little white little ice chunks falling from the sky and hitting the ground where temperatures are still right around or just below freezing. So that's going to make things slushy and sloppy right over the next couple of hours. So if you're driving around home from work or you got to pick up dinner, pick up the kids, whatever it may be, just realize it's slushy, untreated roads, sidewalks, parking lots, driveways. It's going to be a little bit slick and slippery and slushy right for the next couple of hours through about 8 o'clock or so. Next up is later tonight. So later overnight through tomorrow morning, temperatures actually go higher and precipitation becomes much more intermittent and spotty which means temperatures going up into the mid and upper 30s, there should be a little bit of melting and whatever falls from the sky later tonight through very early tomorrow morning will be raindrops, not snow and not sleet and freezing rain. So there should be some melting of roads. But then we go back to snow and a gusty wind tomorrow. Now, I think at first the snow won't accumulate, but when you include the afternoon Thursday through Thursday night and Friday morning, almost everybody should get an inch or two, but up to two to six inches or more possible. So let's check it out first with the fossil surface experts live triple Doppler radar. This that stuff that you're seeing right here, even though it's showing blue, I can tell you by being outside, this is sleet now. So figure occasional sleet and mix this evening eventually transitioning over to in and out rain showers that you see to our south and west. And you'll see it here on the Futurecast, still precipitation mixed through this evening. But look later tonight, midnight, 2 a.m., most of the rain and snow and sleet is up north and northeast. So that means central New York gets a break and we'll be in the mid and upper 30s, maybe even 40, with not a whole lot happening. But then by tomorrow morning, a little bit of light rain and wet snow transitioning over to still wet snow mid morning, midday, and then starting to stick in the afternoon and turning into a spray of lake effect snow right here Thursday evening, Thursday night through Friday morning before it tapers off. So please be careful through about 7, 8 o'clock this evening for some icy slick conditions on untreated roads. But after this evening, new snow is essentially zero because of the elements we mentioned, mid and upper 30s and the fact that it'll be rain and not snow or sleet. We look ahead to tomorrow through Friday morning. Now, this is not what will be on the ground through 7 a.m. This is what will happen probably by Friday morning with much of the snow that you see here on the map happening Thursday afternoon, Thursday night through early Friday morning. Winds are first westerly. That'll give the eastern Lake Ontario counties that bullseye that you see there south of Watertown two to six inches or more and then Thursday night to Friday morning that's when I think we're going to get that steadier snow that you see in darker blue and white slashing through the immediate central New York area many spots getting two to six inches with a few isolated spots getting six inches or more after that Clouds, flurries, a little sun Saturday, increasing clouds again Sunday, some occasional light snow later Sunday into Monday. And as we take a look at the Stanley Law Skywatch, the Regency Tower camera, that noise you hear on my umbrella, that's not rain. That's little ping pong ice pellets falling on me in the entire area. So be careful as you're walking and driving around through very early this evening. Back inside.